All right, welcome back, folks. Here we've got a game against Galatasaray. And here is the team. It's Vuka Minovic in goal. Martella, Fernandez, Manka, Krakow, Carnivale, Batista, Pulisic, Francisco, Corioni, and Sotini up front. We've got Rodolfi on the bench. We've got Ryder, Syracos, uh, Aroldi, Arazabayal, or or as about, I can't even say his name, uh, Petit and Jovic, or Jozic, I guess you would probably say. It's going to a ride. The team is a little bit rotated. Um, I'm hoping that this can spark a result. I'm pretty confident that we can get the dub here. So we will select the team. Jackson Ryder is on the bench. Um, he's been playing fantastically well for the whatever, under 18s, I think it is, because he's still only, I think, 16. Um, but he's also a uh, New Zealand centre-back. So <clears throat> I wanted to keep him and uh, maybe give him his debut. You never know. We'll see how things go. We do also have Syracos on the bench as well. So if anyone's getting the nod, it's probably going to be him. But, yeah, look at that team. Couple of couple of tough games. I think Arsenal and Bilbao will be definitely up there as our toughest games. And I think a two results against six-pointer has got to be said against Galatasaray. Draws will not cut it in the Champions League. It's got to be dubs or nothing. Got to be a W. Can we get the W today? I really hope so. Um, what is going on here? Francisco, he's got the chance. Lemoyne, I think, would score it. Francisco will also score it, so we haven't lost anything by leaving Lemoyne in Milan. Fantastic free kick, though, from San Francisco. Uh, seems the goalkeeper uh, sort of punched it into his net, but nonetheless, we go top as Bilbao also lead Arsenal. Not too much is going on here. They want me to work the ball into the box, so that's going to help us. We've had three shots, 0.3 goal difference, uh, or XG, sorry, goal difference. What am I even on? Tarati makes a decent save there. <coughs> what else we got? Mikal is he in? Can our defence handle it? I Sure, Martella surely should have done better there. Vuka Minovic with decent save. Hasn't kept a clean sheet in the games that he's played. Although he, he only played against Inter. It was actually Rodolfi that played against Udinese. So I wanted to see uh, who could be who could be better. And, uh, well, they both conceded two goals, so it was quite hard to uh, to tell. Martella gets the ball, but the highlight ends, and sort of a boring affair, apart from this Francisco free kick. They haven't really done much with the ball. It seems to all be uh, Galatasaray's. Oof. That is a goal kick. Very decent save from our keeper there. Not too sure how he will compare to Donnarumma. I don't think he is uh, quite at that level, but maybe one day. Sinkies again. Uh, come on, team. Satini, great. He's managed to nick the ball in. And can we break here? Uh, well, well, maybe. We, we did lose the ball, but we keep the ball, and now we've lost it, and now we've got it again. Francisco's on the run. Batista whips in a great cross to Corione, who scores his third goal of the season. Captain Fantastic. Great vision. What a, like, pass to... He gets headed out. Francisco gets it back. Great from Batista. First chance. And look at the curl on that. What a beauty. Corione with the header. The captain has left his mark. It's 2-1. Oh, what a god! What a that assist from Batista is absolutely sublime. Just one shot, like on the of the pass, he didn't even take a touch. First time, what a cross, and the curl was absolutely fantastic as well. 
That's a great confidence boost for us in the Champions League, playing for the first time in quite some time in the Champions League, I would uh, I would imagine. I haven't checked when the last time that uh, <coughs> AC Milan have played in the Champions League, but uh might be something that I have a look at off camera just for my own interests indeed. Francisco can't make it two free kick goals, but nonetheless, still a decent performance from him. It's after half time now. Hopefully we can keep a clean sheet, our first one of the season in competitive games at least. Oh, great. We got the header away. I'm not too sure who that was. Satini's playing pretty deep. Francisco having a great debut. He seems to be everywhere, always on the ball. He's made it into the box. Can he whip in across? No, he's going to get tackled, but it's a definite foul. He's gone down. He stayed down long enough for the ref to give us a penalty. And he's probably also going to send that fella off. Who is going to take the penalty? It's probably going to be Corione. Of course it's Corione. Captain makes it three and the game is over. 3-0 to AC Milan. Galatasaray. Thanks for playing. Fantastic penalty. Cool as anything for Corione. And what a captain. What a captain Corione is. I am going to replace him with Mikel or Azabayal. Or Azabaya. Oh my god, that's really going to annoy me. Trying to say his name. Ayorzabayal. People will just have to get over it if I pronounce it wrong. Because it's just what it is. We're going to chuck on... Uh, let's chuck on Ryder. Why not? The game is won. 10 minutes to go. Jackson Ryder from New Zealand making his Champions League debut for AC Milan. It's not a bad not a bad game for him. He's uh he didn't do anything. There was no highlights. But he got to say he's played in the Champions League at 16 years old for AC Milan in a 3-0 victory. And he's managed to keep a clean sheet. Francisco, great debut. What a legend. Happy to have him here. It's back up to Le Moyne. Um, and yeah, there we go. A 3-0 victory. Fantastic. We've received 4.81 million as well. So great to see. They're lighted. He's had an instant impact. Jackson Ryder. Probably, uh, oh, he's only 15. And now he's um, traveling with the under-23 squad. He's just made an appearance in the Champions League uh, in Turkey. And now he's off to New Zealand. That's a long journey, buddy. <coughs> That's the wrong button to push. Right, welcome back. Here we've got another game for you. This time we are playing at Fiorentina in the City R. Not, not too much has changed in the team. Vukovic stays in goal. Um, Martella is injured. He's got, um, I don't know, I didn't say actually what he's got. Bruised knee. He's got a bruised knee. So he is out and we will be playing uh, one of our youngsters, Maurizio Aroldi. Aroldi. Um, he was on loan last season at Genoa in the Serie A and made a pretty decent... Pretty decent stats. Technically, not so good. Mental is pretty average. Physically, he's a beast. So, we'll give him a try. He is our backup. We still have Boscagli, who is going to the bench as our other left back, but then uh, the familiar team of Fernandez, Amanka, Krakow, Galardi is going to be playing as a box to box, uh, and Hanold is coming in to the deep line playmaker. Roll for his debut. We're going to keep Pulisic and Francisco on the wings. And then Corioni and Satini up front. Familiar people on the bench. Got Peralta, Jovic, jo Jozic, Lemoyne, Bushi, Batista, Anais, Carnaval, Destro, Boscagli, Romero, Sokrakos, and Rodolfi. Rodolfi is our backup. Another player that has come through our youth academy. He's 23 years old. He's fairly decent. 
let's get into the game. He would prefer the number eight. Uh, well, he's not getting number eight because that's actually Galati's. So he can have 16. Let's get into the match. Uh, very excited to see how Hanold makes his debut. Going up against the former team. Not for the first time. Recent form with three wins from three games. Look at that. Two players in the team that are not regens. They've still got a lot of the team that I put together. Monroy is still playing. Not too sure why he plays it right back for them when uh, I brought him in. I was going to be playing him as a defensive midfielder. He's going to be our deep line playmaker. Sort of that destroyer playing that uh, Wayne Halliday role that we had when he were at Southampton. Um, okay, bit of a cagey affair to start with. Not a whole lot is happening in the first 10 minutes, it seems. One or two things I did want to note. A lot I've been looking at uh, a lot of the players, and a lot of them in their... Um, I guess when they have positives and negatives, whatever that thing is called, I can't quite remember. A lot of them have a pre-concern that they want to move to or starting to feel like they need to move to a bigger club, which is a bit of a shame because we've got a really good group of individuals here, a really good team. We've, I don't, I, I don't understand. We're literally in the Champions League. Granted, it's for the first time in a couple of seasons, sure, um, but we smashed. We're very lucky not to concede there. Um, but yeah, we smashed the league last season. We had three losses the whole season. And a lot of these players are like, want to move to a big club. I'm like, they're, they're, there's, there's no current bigger club in terms of stat or in stature. Yeah, there might be, there is some bigger clubs. But there's no bigger club in Italy than the current champions of Italy. So, like, you're playing in one of Europe's top five leagues. You're playing for the current champions of one of Europe's top five leagues, you're in the Champions League, and you also, what, like, a lot of the players did win the league last season. It was their first league. It's their first league win 10 years, 20 years. They haven't won it since they won it last time in real life, which was 2011. It's been quite some time, and we've won the league. We smashed it. We were at least 10 points clear of anyone else. I can't remember exactly how many points clear. Yeah. I just thought it was a it's a very weird thing. Like Corioni, for example. I clicked on him before. He says, pre concern. Feels like he needs to move to a bigger club. I was like, there isn't a bigger club in Italy. You're playing for the current champions. You're twenty five years old, babe. You scored twenty five goals for us last season as you helped you capped into the team to their first league title in twenty years. And you want to move to a bigger club. You don't even have like a into, he doesn't even have an international cap. Like, it's it's really weird. As this game is not going to plan at all. Not a lot is happening. We've got a couple of yellow cards. Francisco seems uh, a bit out of sorts. So I think that's Eric Lemoyne. He will come on. He's a beast. Uh, work the ball into the box, they reckon. Too far out to be a regular threat. It'd be a bit of a shame if we drew against Fiorentina. It'd be good for them. They've only got two points from three games, but yeah, we currently sit third. I think we may need to get Sortini off. Um, I think yeah, we'll go with Peralta. He is supposedly the, the mastermind behind a lot of goals in uh, Mexico and Brazil. See how that goes. It's Tabanui. It's oh, it's going to be a Fiorentina highlight. Can we win the ball back and get on the counter? I sure hope so. Excuse my little rant before about players wanting to leave, but I, I am a little bit worried in January that I'm going to get bombarded with um, it's Fabio Silva. Oh, he's in. It's his first goal of the season. Oh no. We don't want to lose to my old team. God, Luka Minovic should have done better. Sissignon, great hitter. Not too sure what Krakow was up to there. He should have been doing better. All of my defence should have been doing better. That is very, very disappointing. 
Oh, no. I don't want to loss this early on in the season. We went quite... Um, let's go quite attacking. Corioni with... The, oh, come on. Oh, we need someone else. I'm going to pause it. I don't... Who do I want to take off? It's not been great from Christian Pulisic. She's the obvious choice. Bushi is great on the wing. He's apprehensive. What I'm thinking I might do. Let's focus play on the wings. Let's go much shorter. And let's get them to distribute to um, the fullbacks. Let's, let's try and drum up a chance from our two wingers. See if they can either get the crosses in or they can take the chances themselves. Going to go on very attacking. Um, we've got a we've got a chance here with Peralta. Oh, he's managed to get it down from Fabio Silva. That is fantastic. Krakow with Corioni. Get in, get in. It's going to be his fifth goal already this season. Corioni has to get an Italian cap this season. Surely this is the year. He's 25 years old. How do you not get an Italian cap? Like when you score 25 goals and you captain your team to their first league title in 20 years. What a cross from Palio. Palo? Krakow. Krieko. Krieko. Who would know? Might just call him PC. What a cross. What an equaliser. 86 minute. That is a captain's move there. Fiorentina will be gutted. Yellow card for Tabanui. Do we have another chance here? Luca Manka! Oh my god. Imagine if we had scored that. The scenes would be real. Ooh. Very, very close. This game has come alive in the last few moments. We've got one last chance, I'm assuming. Corioni again. Oh, he's gone down. Surely that's a penalty. Surely that's a penalty. A 96-minute penalty win for AC Milan. Surely. Come on, ref. Let's push the player. Penalty. 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 Come on, Corioni. Or is it going to be Lemoyne, actually? Now that Lemoyne is on the pitch, he might actually be the one to take the penalty. It is. It's Eric Lemoyne. <sighs> He's surely got this. He is the best player that we've got. Come on. Brian Monroe is off. He's been given his marching orders. And uh, here we go. Penalty. 96 minute winner. Get in. Get in, 98th minute winner from Eric Lemoyne with the penalty. Fiorentina were leading. They must have thought, this is fantastic. 70th minute they scored or something along those lines. We've managed to get the draw. What a comeback. 98th minute. Oh my God. What a victory. You, they were poor against that team, so I did have to tell them. But what a fantastic result. What a winner. A 99th minute even, they said. 86 minute equaliser, 90th nine minute winner. Get in AC Milan. What a team. What a team. And now we've gone top of the league. Fantastic. Hunold makes his, uh, his debut. Oh, I'm stoked with that. Absolutely stoked. Anyway, folks, we're going to come back. Uh, we're going to have one game off, and we're going to play Sassuolo off camera, and then we're going to come back for Napoli and Arsenal. So look forward to that. We'll see you very shortly. Thanks a ton for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. Peace.